This analysis comes from Rob Jackson. He's a Democratic commissioner at the SEC, someone who is very skeptical of the value of buybacks. And in this report, he took a look at the performance of a stock 90 days after a buyback is announced. And what he found is that when executives sell a lot of their shares around a buyback, the stock actually does worse over the long run. He said that it performs, underperforms by more than 8%. So the upshot here is that Jackson believes that executives are really just interested in that one-time price pop, and he connects that to the changes in CEO compensation. He wrote, this raises concern that insider stock-based pay gives them incentive to pursue buybacks that maximize that pay, but do not make sense for long-term investors. So he is pushing the SEC to revisit the rules governing buybacks. He says they haven't been looked at in a decade, and he's got at least one sympathetic ear on capital. Hill. That's Democratic Senator Chris Van Hollen, who said today that he wants to try to figure out the appropriate time that executives should be banned from selling stocks around buybacks. So guys, whether it's regulation or legislation, it's just all part of the drumbeat trying to rein in this practice here in D.C. Back to you. Elon, this pressure on buybacks, do you think it is specifically only on buybacks or is it capital return in general? Do you think if uh, corporates shifted from buybacks towards dividends, that there would be then a shift in, in the pressure uh, and political rhetoric against them as well. I think the buybacks have become um, symbolic for the Democratic Party at the least. You know, since the passage of the Republican tax law, since we saw so many companies engage in buybacks because they have hit that record $1 trillion level, I think that that's why you have seen so much focus on this practice in particular. And I think it creates um, a really um, sort of important symbol for Democrats as they try to galvanize support for these kinds of ideas amongst Americans and in the run-up to the 2020 presidential election.